Hello and welcome to the third PHP tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing uh, putting HTML within PHP and then putting PHP within HTML. Um, so you've already seen us put HTML, initially at least, into PHP in the previous tutorial where we put the strong tags. So first let me just show you throwing in a quick PHP script uh, within an HTML uh, script. So what we're going to go ahead and do is make a quick um, just HTML input text box. So, um, and again, if you're not too familiar with HTML, just follow along. Um, HTML is really, really basic, uh, and there's plenty of tutorials. I might have a tutorials on HTML at some point. If I do, I'll just edit this and append, uh, or put up one of those little annotations or something. But anyway, we're gonna put an input type equals text, oops, text, and we'll say value, equals and what value is is like what's going to be in that um, that text box initially like before someone actually types so that value what if we made that value be some sort of um, PHP script that derives the value so let's add um, PHP tags and let's make the script so there's our tags question mark PHP and then ends with a question mark closing tag and within those PHP tags, let's say we want to echo the uh, language. So we'll just echo um, dollar sign lang for the um, for our variable that's defined up here. As always with PHP, end with the semicolon. Even though this is really one line, so I guess you wouldn't have to end with that semicolon, but you might as well get used to putting that semicolon. So, and at least I might as well get used to it. So I'm going to keep doing it. Um, so anyway, this is really HTML, and then we've got a short, but it is a PHP script within the HTML. So uh, with that, let's save it, and let me put this up on the server. Hopefully I didn't typo anything. I like to typo. And we'll run it, and it says, welcome to PHP. Oh, we didn't remove that, but that's okay. But as you can see, we've got this text box, and the default value in this text box is indeed PHP. But of course, we can delete that and type whatever we want. So let's pop back over here and let's get rid of this HTML or actually let's just change up the HTML a little bit and let's just say the value here is just HTML example and let me get rid of this echo and real quick let me pop this back onto the server so you can see what we're dealing with. See this is HTML outside of the PHP now and there's no PHP within the HTML. So this is just HTML. But what we can do is we can throw this HTML within our PHP, and that is going to be just echo, and then you echo a string, and what we're gonna do is literally just copy and paste, or actually cut and paste that to the echo. Now if you'll notice, within this echo, we've got, um, the text is kind of finicky here, we've got this literally going black on us, and that's because we encased everything in a quote, so it gets, this single quote and it thinks this is the end of the string and then at this point it's like what and then it's like oh, okay we opened up at a quote again and then we've got double quotes and then things got really messy and so in fact what we can do is we can replace these double quotes with single quotes first off and then what you do is use the uh, backslash it's above your enter or return key and you do that and it's called the escape character and you just escape all of these quotes that you don't want to actually hold you know a value of a quote so anyway after we've escaped all of those um, the other thing you can do instead of escaping all of these is just encase the entire echo statement in double quotes um, but for the most part I pretty much program everything in single quotes um, but anyway yeah the options are there for pretty much whatever you want to do um, I'm pretty sure the standard usually is actually to code everything in single quotes and escape the inside quotes. Um, but I have seen people that will say, you know, hey, you, know, you should really encase everything in double quotes, but whatever. Anyway, save that, upload it back to the server. And now, as you can see, we've got PHP script here, and within it, we're just echoing some HTML, which will be read by the server and inputted most likely. 
and we save it and we see HTML example. But let me just switch this up a little bit um, and say in, or HTML in PHP. Just so you know, like it really did just get uploaded to the server and changed. And we'll pop back over here, save it or refresh. And yeah, so now you've got HTML within PHP. So those are the basics of uh, PHP within HTML and then HTML within PHP. You might decide to do it whatever way for a whole variety of reasons. So um, anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.